Leave a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds or Random will not upload the 1 hour Struced video. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Westrom here, back with another video, and in today's video, I decided I wanted to make fans their custom pickaxes in Struced. Whatever they said, I had to make. But before we get in this video, I'm gonna have to ask everyone to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss my uploads. But anyway, let's hop right into it. Okay guys, so basically we're on my Discord right now. If you didn't watch my video from yesterday, I definitely recommend recommend you check it out or you might not really understand what's going on in this one but disregarding that I made an announcement this morning saying hey everyone today I wanted to try and make some of your guys pickaxe ideas so please simply put them in hashtag video ideas and I will try my best to make whatever you say whether it be lava pickaxe ice pickaxe you name it I do it so as you guys can see, I've got a lot of pickaxe ideas. All these people were recommending me pickaxes to make, and it's quite a lot, so I can only do so much pickaxes. But I'm basically just gonna go through this list with you guys, pick out a few, and try our best to actually make these. Okay guys, so for our first pickaxe, I'm gonna go ahead and pick... There should be a bionic pickaxe. I think that'll be kind of cool. I don't know exactly how we're gonna make it look, but I'm just gonna search up bionic on Google potentially and see what comes up. Okay, so he said bionic, and basically what that means is there's like a prototype or like a robotic arm or something that moves for you, basically how a human would move. It's basically a robotic version of it. That's at least how it seems. So I think I have a pretty good idea for this, and I just want to try and implement it into a pickaxe. So I'm thinking something like this. I searched up the keyword chrome and something sort of like this. I think this might be the perfect image to use for this pickaxe. Okay, so we have our white template, and we have the chrome or bionic background, I guess you could say. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the overall pickaxe, and we're probably going to have to move it really... Yeah, that's not going to look too good unless I, like, turn it on its side, maybe. I think that'll be smarter if I turn it this way and then put it along this pickaxe. I think that'll look a lot better. Yeah, something along the lines of that I think will look a bit better than what I had. Basically, we're going to select the white, go over here, copy it, paste it onto this one, and then delete that, then go back. I think this looks pretty good. I mean, I, I'd say it looks pretty decent. I'm going to try and put that into a game and see how it looks. But overall, I think that's going to be a pretty good bionic pickaxe. And we are going to have to drag the pickaxe model into studio and then cancel it out. Because we start with this little uh, gravel pickaxe, which isn't that cool. And we want to add the overall texture to it. Okay, let's see this bionic pickaxe. Hopefully it turns out really well. It's loading a tiny bit. There we go. I mean, it doesn't look that bad, actually. I kind of like that. If that was a pickaxe in the game, I'd call it, like, the chrome pickaxe. I know it's not necessarily bionic, but there's not really a way to make it so, like, your arm is a pickaxe. Yo, that would be a lit idea. Imagine your arm in Struced was a pickaxe itself. Oh my goodness, that's, like, revolutionary. I don't know if Andrew could do that, but if he could... That would be awesome. Personally, I like this first pickaxe. Let's move on to the next one and get some extra ideas. Okay, so somebody said make an Island Royale pickaxe. Now, that's going to be kind of confusing to do, but I think I have an idea. Island Royale itself is basically represented by a palm tree, or at least that's what it was back in the day. So I'm going to try my best to make an Island Royale palm tree styled pickaxe. And I think the best part about this pickaxe is we don't really need to have, you know, like an actual image. We can pretty much just recolor this thing and make it look perfect. So we're going to Select our white and I'm gonna go in with the paint bucket and try and make it like a decent green you know like a palm tree green I think this might work okay that's perfect for a palm tree green now we just need to recolor these parts and make it like a tannish yellow sort of style kind of like sand we're gonna drag it over here and all this looks really dark for some reason I, maybe if we pick one of these let's try this now that's a little too yellow. I want it to be kind of a tannish color. Okay, I think this coloring might be perfect. I kind of want to try this out, saving it under pictures, saved pictures, Island Royale pickaxe. And now that we have that saved, let's go ahead and implement it into Roblox and see how it looks. We got our second pickaxe. We're going to go to our texture. We're going to add an image, choose file, and then we're going to type in Island Royale pickaxe. And I don't think it's coming up here. I think I have it under downloads instead of pictures. Yeah, we need it under pictures, Island Rail, pickaxe. Here we go, we're gonna create. Hopefully this turns out good. And honestly, I mean, it doesn't look too good because the, uh, like, the bottom of it looks too similar to this. 
but it does kind of represent Island Rail in an aspect. I think going for a little bit more of a yellow look at the bottom of it would have looked a little bit better, but overall this sort of represents Island Rail. So now we're going to duplicate it and make a third pickaxe. Hopefully we get some better ideas and video ideas, but let's go ahead and check them out. Okay guys, so here's another idea. Cracked pickaxe. That's going to be kind of hard to make because we need to make the physical cracks in it, but I think I have a good idea and I just want to go ahead and try it out. Okay guys, so I looked up cracked transparent and I don't know if we want to go for like a realistic look or a cartoony look because some of these look kind of cartoony and then others actually look really real I think we're gonna stick to like a cartoony look and actually these look really nice I kind of like these cracks we're gonna go ahead and implement them into my Photoshop just kidding I only I have paint.net I know I'm boring but let's go ahead and paste these in here and I'm gonna try my best to put them in the original design okay so we're gonna go ahead and select I think we're gonna use like a light gray I think that'll be the best color to show the cracks the best so we have our light gray here. Now we can go ahead and copy one of these cracks, doesn't matter which one. I'm just personally gonna use this one for the most part and we are gonna add it to the above layer. Now one thing we need to make certain is these cracks do not overlap the edges of the pickaxe or it may make it look to be wrong. So we wanna make sure we line it up correctly at the edges, which I'm probably gonna have to zoom in to do. Okay, we're really close. That one's lined up right there. I don't know if this one's lined up. Let's deselect. Yeah, I need to move it up just like one or two or right. There we go. So we got our first crack. Let's go ahead and zoom out. That honestly looks pretty nice. I kind of like that. I'm going to add a few more cracks. I'll probably speed it up for you guys. And let's go ahead and see the final result. Okay, so I think I finally got the cracked pickaxe to look perfect. We got four cracks in it, and I recolored the actual bottom of the pickaxe to give it a more aesthetic look, I think, once we implement it into Roblox Studio. But let's go ahead and see how this thing looks. We got the cracked pickaxe saved. Let's go ahead and implement it into the game. Uh, choose file. We need to pick cracked pickaxe, of course, and create. Hopefully this works out. Please tell me this looks good. It honestly looks pretty decent. I like this. It's like a pretty noob design, pretty default design, but overall, it doesn't look too bad, and it kind of looks like it gets darker as it goes down the pickaxe. Not a bad design. I think if you actually had a modeler come and clean this up, this in initial design, it would look 10 times better. And maybe actual physical cracks in the pickaxe and not just like images. Okay, so this guy said make a lightning pickaxe. Now I'm going to try my best to do this. Again, a lightning pickaxe is going to be pretty hard on a default pickaxe, but element for life, I'm going to try my best and hopefully you like it. So for this one, I think I'm going to get another lightning but transparent image and maybe zoom in directly on the brightest part of the lightning to make it actually really bright and maybe give off a lightning effect. We'll see. I'm going to try it out at first and we can always change it up if it doesn't work out. So we're going to paste in a new spot with this lightning. We're going to directly grab over it and try and implement it into this. Again, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work out. But again, I could probably zoom in really far down on it and maybe get that little piece of lightning in the middle to show off its really good color. So in all honesty, guys, I wasn't a really big fan of the bluish lightning, so I switched over to white, and it looks pretty good. I'm going to try and put this into a pickaxe. Again, I'm not sure how that's going to turn out because so many of the lightning strikes are overlapping. And again, when you put it onto the actual pickaxe, it's going to overlap it, so we're going to have to see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out really good. And actually, I kind of want to go over these things real quick with some extra lightning on the actual handle because I think it'll give it a really good look as well. So there we have it. I think this is going to look perfect for the lightning pickaxe. I'm just hoping this works out. Okay, here we go. The lightning pickaxe is being implemented. Please turn out good. And it didn't even... Okay, there we go. Okay, so I mean, it looks decent. I think it would look better with an overall texture below the lightning. But overall, I thought the lightning was going to look worse, and it actually looks pretty good. Not going to lie, that lightning looks really good, especially near the tip up here, near the actual top of the pickaxe. It looks really nice. So let's go ahead and duplicate it. Let's try and make one more of the fan-styled pickaxes, and then we're going to move on to the finale, where I'm going to work with a Struced developer or a Struced modeler and make the best pickaxe you guys have ever seen. Okay, so this guy said make a fire and ice pickaxe or make an ice and fire pickaxe. I have a really good idea for this, and it does involve the crack we used on a recent pickaxe. I'm thinking what if we split this in half with a crack 
and make one side ice and the other side fire. I mean, it could work. We're gonna have to try this out. I'm not really that good at this part of the thing, but we're gonna try our best to do what we can. So we're gonna start by dragging this crack over to this image and actually pasting it right in the middle. We want it to be perfectly in line so we're gonna put it right here so i think that's a good split about halfway in between now we got to add the fire to one side and the ice on the other so my idea to conquer this is actually having this crack overlaid is pretty perfect for me because now i'm going to be able to erase the edges of it and add in my own fire effect to each side now one thing i have to say it does not have to be a really good line it can be pretty sloppy um for the most part because overall you're just gonna pretty much revive the pickaxe yourself by the way it's made basically you'll see so the line's not overall straight but now this is going to give me the ability to select only this side so now that we only have this side selected i'm going to be able to remove it but also keep it there to overall overlay a fire or ice side to that pickaxe so i got the first half of the fire correct but it's like it's a tiny bit cut off so i'm going to try my best to overall fill this part in and make it the best it can possibly look but i'm going to try my best i'm not a magician but we're going to try and fill this part in Okay guys, so I think I recovered it. It looks perfect like this. Now we just need to add the ice to the other side and I think we're set. Now we just need a perfect picture of ice and this is exactly what I'm looking for. Let's go ahead and copy this image, put it into our paint and see what we can do with it. Okay, now that I put it on there, I don't know if that's actually gonna look that good. Let's try it out in the game and I might switch up how the ice looks if it doesn't actually look that good. But let's also recolor the actual handle as well. You know, I wanna give it a little bit of a darker look. So, sort of like that, that's actually perfect. But we need to do that for the tip as well. Here we go, boom. Now let's save it and see how it looks in the studio. Oh my goodness. That doesn't look too bad. I thought it was gonna look way worse than that. In fact, I think if I added a black handle instead of just this, it would look 10 times better. Let's just go ahead and select our handle and turn it black, and then we'll see how it turns out once we're done doing that. Here we go. Is it gonna turn out how I think it will? And it did. I love this. I actually think this is pretty cool. The crack in middle making it split from fire to ice. Honestly, it's a little bit too zoomed in. It kind of looks like fire and water. But honestly, it looks pretty nice. Yeah, it just looks like a bunch of bubbles on this side. Okay, guys, and last but not least, one of my really good mods named Waterman, very nice person, asks, can you make me an angel pickaxe? Now, this is the one I really want to spend a lot of time on, especially with the other developer slash modeler for Strucid. So I'm going to go ahead and tell him he wants an angel pickaxe, and I'm going to see what we can get. Oh my god, he just said pick from one of these three. I'm going to tell him I want the middle one, but I want to make it blue because his name is Waterman. I literally think that will look insane. No way! There's no way he actually did it! He did it! That looks amazing! I'm gonna ask him for the model right now and see what he can do. Okay, he said he just sent me the model, so we're gonna have to open up our toolbox right now and find a way to get this model implemented into the game right this second. So we'll click here, go to my models, blue winged pickaxe. Oh my god. That is honestly such a beautiful pickaxe, especially for Waterman being water man of course he's gonna like blue now it's time to get his reaction i'm gonna ask him do you like it and then we're gonna go ahead and paste the picture in here i really hope he likes it it's honestly insane it would really be a cool addition to strucid if they actually added this thing it honestly looks spectacular and then i added on at the end i made it blue because you are water man hopefully he likes this thing hopefully he actually replies in a second okay and he replied saying what question mark exclamation point question mark question mark i think we got a good surprise for him i think he's pretty happy i can't wait to see what he types next because he is currently typing right now my eyes are glued yo he said no way that's so beautiful again thank you so much helpless moose one of the modelers for strucid i'm gonna link it down below if you guys want to have this pickaxe for yourself i'm definitely gonna link it down below it's honestly amazing anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on notifications and also comment down below which one's your favorite i think i might have an idea which one is but i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one.